So, what are we going to do now? I guess we're going to talk, right? Oh, are we doing an interview? Yeah, do you want to do an interview? Uh, should we back up against the wall over here? Yeah, get some of this. This is the last day of the show. You feeling it? A little bit. Yeah. We had great weather, though. You're barely? All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. We're, are you getting us, or where do you want us? Who's Mary? Yeah, Nozart. Oh. We literally had a reporter who... Um, Look just like her. A reporter. Oh, uh, a woman reporter. Mm -hmm. I assume. Hello, we're we're here with uh, David Bamberger. Let me try that again. We're here with David Bamberger, and we're talking about uh, Battle Station Specific. Battle Station Specific, which is uh, a new game coming out, coming out early 2009 for the Xbox 360 and high-end PCs. Okay, and we just had played a lot of it, which uh, you may have seen already. But uh, the, um, what do you like most about it? I like that it, it brings World War II to life in the Pacific Theater. It mm -hmm. is offering you a uh, strategy action experience that's combining real-time strategy with flight gaming and naval warfare gaming. And it's giving you a large experience because you can have two massive games. One is a U.S. game and one is a Japanese game. So you see this war from two different perspectives. So David, what have you, what have you, what other products have you worked on before this? I've worked on a lot of products before this. Uh, I've been in the business for about 15 years. Okay. Um, if you've seen Final Fantasy VII, I've worked on that title. Yeah. Um, Hitman titles, Kane and Lynch titles, uh, a number I've, of titles for Sony, including Warhawk and Twisted Metal. I'm familiar with all of those. That's right. Very good products. Very good work. So, uh, how'd you get involved with this? Well, I joined IDOS, um, and they had a new uh, uh, game uh, called Battle Stations, and I also worked with uh, the I.O. titles as well for IDOS. And two years ago, we launched Midway. It took you through the uh, pretty much the first year and a half of the war, where you fought on the U.S. side from the Battle of Pearl Harbor to the Battle of Midway. And the last two years, we've been working on and working very closely with the Battle Stations community to put together Battle Stations specific. Okay, and this is the culmination of that. Culmination of that, and what you're seeing is the number one thing they asked for was more, more, more missions. So we're offering uh, 28 battle missions plus a host of new multiplayer missions with five new multiplayer modes uh, that you can play in skirmish mode. So what we're offering you is just a very big Pacific War uh, experience. They like the scripted missions. They like the scripted missions, but they also like the idea that we open it up for the RTS gamer to have an intellectual experience with the game, but then we also give you the ability to jump into any unit and fly the plane, navigate the boat, be the submariner. We're also adding a new feature of island capture, where you direct the, uh, the capture and holding of islands that have significant strategic units in it. Once you get those islands, you can uh, control the radar, uh, you control the airfields, you control the artillery from those islands. So it's an extra layer of strategy added to the game. Okay, so um, what do we have to look for in the future? What is it, uh, what's the future of Battle Stations? Well, Battle Stations uh, right now, it's the future is in 2009 when we release the title. Uh, we'll be learning more about multiplayer in the next couple of months, uh, learning more about the skirmish mode. You'll see more features there. Uh, learning more about what those multiplayer modes are uh, and how it expands the multiplayer experience. So it's still experience. somewhat in development then? The game is currently, what we just showed you is early alpha. We have okay. about six more months to go. And most of it will be uh, spent tuning uh, the games and testing the games with uh, the current community. Uh, to Really what we're doing is we're combining a number of genres. And the biggest hurdle for that is the interface. So we're spending a lot of time on the interface. Right. 
All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciated meeting you. And, yeah, great and, meeting uh, you. I'd like to get uh, keep in touch and see Absolutely. what happens in the future. Yeah, great. Thanks a lot. When we do the uh, the Washington tour, we'll get you part of that on, on that. Uh, oh, that would be Because nice. you're based in Maryland. I already gave you one. Yeah. Are yeah. you based in Baltimore? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Catesville is uh, seven miles west of Baltimore. Okay. It's where people used to vacation. Would you guys when be you interested? Rode horses. Would you be interested in, in viewing a uh, U.S. Uh, Yorktown, U.S.S. Yorktown bet? Sure. Why not? Okay. We give you a call. There's a guy that we uh, met up with. He served in the Yorktown at the Battle of Midway, and then he was also a, a dauntless a gunner. We work. We work a little bit with um, uh, a, a colonel who teaches at uh, West Point, and sometimes I interview uh, combat vets who come back from places like Iraq, and they talk about how they won the medal or how they. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, I've met a lot of people from uh, the Black Hawk when it went down in Somalia. Wow. I've interviewed those gentlemen, and um, so uh, yeah, I'm. I uh, I went through military school, so and Did I've been serve? involved working. Uh, let's put it this way: uh, I did something that I can't prove I did, uh -huh. that never happened. Here you are. Yeah, that uh, that there's no records of. So technically, I'm uh, not e not a veteran either. So how do you go out of ROTC and never be a veteran? That's it. You go another direction. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, that's cool. All right. Yeah, I'd be definitely. So, uh, what we're doing. Is but I've always been very supportive of what our country does. I'm I'm a person who believes that um, there's no such thing as transparency in war. Mm -hmm. You don't tell people you're attacking Leyte Gulf. You don't tell them two weeks before you do it. Right. And you can't do that. You can't tell people what you're doing, where your ships are. There's no leverage. What's happening? Yeah, it's not war. That's not how you play war. Yeah. And it, and it is a game, really. War is a game. Uh, it's a dangerous and, and, and rotten game, but it's a game. And it's, unfortunately, it's necessary. It's still necessary. Um, I would love to live in a world where we didn't need guns and we didn't have war. But uh, the reality is that those things happen. Absolutely. I mean, even the history of the country was all about uh, creating a defensive wall. Right. John yeah. Adams put a lot of money against a defensive wall because he realized that Britain would attack. Right. So yeah. just history has always been preparedness, preparedness. Yeah, we, I think we've uh, we've responded appropriately to what's happened, and the people have, who in, in charge have kept you safe. The, the problem is you got to trust whoever you put in office. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, if you talk to the guys in the field, they don't. The kids that come back or the kids that are fighting now, they believe in what they're doing. They wouldn't be there. They wouldn't go there. Are we recording? Yeah, we still are. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, I have, I have friends who fight in, in those situations, and they, they support uh, the war. They're very, you get a different news answer when you talk to the guys who are actually there than what you get from the news services. And it's, uh, it's a whole different ballgame. Yeah. So, Makes sense. Uh, when you read the history, that's what, that's how it rolls. Yeah. Um, would you be interested in, in uh, what we're looking to do is partner up with the Library of Congress mm -hmm. and bring awareness to the Veterans History Project that they have. It's great. I work with veterans too. I went down. I went down to the uh, hospital in uh, Port Belvoir and uh, went and talked to the amputees that are down there and spoke with them. And it's amazing. I had I was walking along the corridor with a. Command, you want to get some lunch? Yeah, we're good. We're done.